What is up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games and I'm coming at you with another cool video back in the one, the only, Planet Coaster. And we are here today uh, with another episode of Time City. And we have another new ride uh, in the works now here in the Jurassic section of the park. And it is our first water ride in the park. It is a log flume. So this was a nice little log flume ride. It wasn't a huge one. I just wanted to make a basic little log flume for the area of the park. I just figured it would fit very well within the theme of the section, of course. I thought Jurassic section, you know, it definitely needs some sort of water ride of some sort, so whether it be a log flume or a river rapids. And I thought the log flume would actually flow very, very nicely. It was a very hard or a very interesting project at the very beginning because we had to get all the terrain correct, and that was a, a definitely a diff difficult challenge. But overall, we got it in a pretty decent looking shape uh, by the end of the episode, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I, I like to put my uh, channels or my um, flumes, uh, rather, uh, actually inside right underneath the water, so it's actually inside a body of water. I think it looks a lot better with the natural water in the game. Um, that's my opinion. So I like to use real water or the actual water in the game for kind of my, my layout and stuff. I think it just adds a little bit to it, you know? And uh, we made it kind of like in a valley and kind of like a uh, ridge or whatever you want to call it um, inside. I did a lot of playing around with this until I got it per, uh, kind of where I needed to. And I finally figured out what to do. I needed to engulf it in pretty much the terrain and then I just need to lower the terrain exactly where I want it and then just lower the ride down into the water where it needs to be exactly uh, so it worked out quite nicely and then after getting some theming elements throughout the ride itself it turned out pretty freaking awesome so another quick update for uh, progress we've been getting so much support lately on twitch that um, I actually was able to make a new purchase to help with hopefully higher quality videos. I actually just purchased my third monitor. Uh, I've been looking at getting a third monitor for a little bit now and I knew I wanted to do something very high quality. And what do you have to do to be high quality? That's right, we had to get a 4K monitor. So it's my first 4K monitor, and I'm very excited to do some gaming in 4K. I can't wait to see it. Um, uh, I'm going to twiddle a little bit or figure some stuff out. I'm going to see if I can't uh, possibly play Planet Coaster in 4K and maybe even get some 4K videos out eventually. Uh, uh, to you guys as well and start recording more stuff in 4k uh, if that's possible I know a lot of it doesn't have much to do with the monitor but I know it can definitely help since my monitor will actually have the resolution of 4k which will be amazing it's like full 4k too it's like the 3840 by 2160 I think it is um, I'm still memorizing 4k resolution and what it is because we're going to be transitioning into that uh, very soon you know 1080 had its run but you know, we are here for higher quality, and I can't wait. The monitor is absolutely huge, too. It's a pretty large monitor. Uh, it's bigger than my other two, and I'm thinking about trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing with it, but... I am so excited to play Planet Coaster in 4K if it's possible. Uh, I know there's not an option on the menu to change it to 4K, but I'm not entirely sure. I've seen people play it in 4K before, so uh, if you guys have any idea of how that's done, uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. I would be hugely appreciated if I could figure that out myself. I might even uh, search it up a little bit, but if I can't find anything, if you know anything about playing Planet Coaster in 4K, uh, maybe you have your own setup uh, where you're playing Planet Coaster in 4K yourself, but I, I just I want to play this game in 4K. Hopefully it is uh, something that is doable, and I would love to record in 4K too, because I know my computer can handle 4K um, stuff like that. It just takes a while to render, and I'm actually working on projects right now uh, that are gonna exceed quality and expectations. You know, the last couple of videos I've been definitely trying to exp uh, kind of, you know, explore and figure out um, how to make certain videos, uh, but we're gonna be seeing hopefully some nice, very high quality footage uh, very soon uh, and some of my cinematic stuff that I'm looking into getting into. So um, that's some stuff I really want to try and get nicely finished and completed. It's gonna be epic. Um, I have uh, 
some really cool videos coming out, especially next month. There's going to be a really awesome video um, that's going to be cool. So if you know, a lot of parks do make announcements for what they're, what is coming in the next year. And that time is actually coming very close for a lot of parks. It usually starts at around August. Once we get to the around August, uh, September is usually where parks, uh, at least the larger parks, start making a lot of their announcements for um, what they're going to be adding in the following year or two. Uh, so it's going to be interesting, and we might have something planned uh, for JLW Entertainment in that regard. Uh, so t stay tuned for that for sure, and uh, you guys aren't going to want to miss what's coming to the new parks in 2019, or some of the parks in 2019. So in this section, I wanted to do some custom supporting for the log flume here. I never tried custom supporting on the log flume. Uh, I wanted to give it some wooden support structure uh, to try and make minimize the amount of metal or be, uh, beams that you get um, with this ride uh, because I wanted to make it look a little bit more uh, in theme you know and you know I thought wooden supports would just help with the theme a little bit I might even hi uh, in the end hang some vines or something off of these supports a little bit just for added effects and everything like that there is still so much to do with this log flume too uh, what I did at the beginning is literally just to kind of get it started so we have a lot of theming and a lot of different stuff to do for this ride. I even wanted to add some footers for these uh, support structures as well, as you can tell. Uh, it was quite nice. And this, uh, again, isn't a very ginormous like log flume or anything. It's just a basic log flume. Uh, you know, it's a nice little water ride to have in the park, especially for those hot days. Your guests aren't going to want to, you know, ride um, hot rides, I guess. <laughs> they want to cool off on some of the water rides and stuff. That's something I hope Frontier adds later on. Maybe a couple more flat rides, or wait, water rides uh, later on in the future. I know there's not a whole lot of selection, so maybe they can add a couple more. You know, there's those uh, uh, river bla or water uh, uh, blaster ones where you know where the you can actually spray water on people not on the ride, and you could do some really cool animations for stuff like that. Uh, I know that would be kind of a dip more difficult one, but at least it had even you know boat rides would be kind of cool. I know there's already some. Uh, certain ones in there that you can use but um, anyways that's just kind of what I think and you can kind of I'm thinking about it you kind of could probably create your own kind of float ride which actually is kind of interesting so anyways we get a little bit started on the queue line for this ride and after this episode I actually did a little bit of crowd flow test so what that means is I actually went in and uh, kind of tested out where the guests go to when I open the park and uh, kind of figure out what adjustments I need to make if I need to make like any barriers um, for uh, certain spots because sometimes they'll walk through you know like plants and stuff we don't want them walking through where they're not supposed to so we got to try and guide them around to where they need to go and uh, that was a interesting test because I got to test the monorail too to see if they actually go into this section properly like I want them and it was definitely a success there was a lot of guests going into this section of the park uh, taking the monorail to get into the area so it, it was is it was successful now once I get another section in with another station we're gonna see exactly how well that works so I'm very interested to see um, what the guests do and react uh, to what they're gonna do there because um, I'm still debating the facts uh, debating whether I need to have pathways to each section you know that way there is access for guests to walk to each part part of the park without having to take the monorail if they choose to walk instead because um, I can see it can be a little inconvenient in realistic terms that um, you know you have to wait this hour long line for the monorail because it was packed there were so many guests trying to get on the monorail um, when I opened the park uh, because it was the main thing to get to the all the rides uh, but it was so packed and, I, and you don't want to wait a whole hour or more in line just to get to the fun part of the park you know what I mean that's literally like entering a park with a queue line uh, it's, just, it's not a good idea, you know, um, so we'll see I'll do some more tests and see if the line does stay long if the line does still say stay, stay massive I might consider making uh, at least some small pathways at least uh, to each section of the park 
and maybe even make like little tunnels in there like they're time traveling through space and time maybe make some nice special effects for a walkway in between each section of the park just for added you know effect and measures and maybe even add some fun signs and stuff saying oh you didn't want to use the time machine huh you you decided to walk through the future or something like that i don't know something interesting and uh that'd be cool so uh, one thing I want to make certain of in this park is that we have great selection of flat rides and attractions just in general like everything's going to be nice and balanced so I want to make sure there's rides in each section of the park that, uh, get, that I guess they're going to be excited for. Obviously the main attraction in this part of the park will be Raptor Run but it also has a complimentary ride on the other side of the section uh, that will try and keep the guest flow at least a little bit more balanced so the log flume ride actually has like a four star rating it might even have more after we're done with all the scenery but since it has that high rating guests are going to want to be on this side of the park as well you know they're not just going to stay on one side of the park and it'll actually help with a uh, you know getting uh, people to ride some of the other rides in the park as well you know like these flat rides and everything like that and i'm gonna have some more food stalls and stuff like that on this side uh we just got started on this side of this section so uh just keep bear that and keep that in mind and um, we're trying to move at more of a rapid pace so again i know a lot of people want to see other um some of the other stuff like golden valley and stuff which you still will you're gonna see you'll still see that kind of stuff pretty often but we're still going to be focusing a lot on time city because it is the main park that we're working on right now and i have so much to get done in this so there's just there's just not not enough time like i know i st uh, again i still have nearly a year to get this park completed uh in its finished state but i don't want to take any chances i'd rather have extra time to do extra detailing in the end rather than anything else so something also i needed to add in this section of the park were some restrooms so that's going to be this building right here i do want to decorate these buildings a little bit more in the future eventually and have them have they're just gonna i want them to have just a little bit more to them because uh you know they're just these wooden textures with a lot of vines hanging off of them i want to at least try and do a little bit more detailing than that but it's kind of hard um i think i just need to make some more uh building these buildings are very rectangular and square but they're all connected diagonally which makes it a little bit better but i wanted to add a little bit more so i decided to do a little bit of a um structure on this structure i actually made a little bit kind of like a cover uh in front of the restrooms just to add a little bit to it you know just kind of interesting uh, but it's going to be really nice and we're, I want to try and add at least a few more rides in this area as well. Uh, we're going to have uh, quite a bit of space still to work with I think because I don't want each and every um, you know each section to be very small. I want each section to be you know decently large almost like its own small park you know in each different section you know what i mean you know if you go to like universal uh, the wizarding world of harry potter you know those sections are actually pretty decently large but you know it's only part of the park uh it's you know i want you to kind of think in that regard you know you're in a, just a section of the park you know a section the themed section of the park so it's just going to be incredible uh seeing all the different theme changes throughout this park so uh, a lot of you may be wondering what's the next section going to be after we're done here after we move on from the jurassic section and actually start working on the next section and that is a definitely a good question but i think i'm definitely going to be starting on the apocalypse section uh after this one um you know my general idea was to think you know have the two past sections and then future sections but i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go along the lines of past future past you know and just kind of alternate in between you know the, those kind of sections that way you're going from the past to the future from, to the back to the past to the future and etc you know etc you know it's just going to be nice you know there's just so much detail like there's so much to do and i again i want to thank you guys so much for your support on twitch if you do follow me on twitch we're having we had, we had so much support uh in this stream as well 
and just streams later on like you guys are just so supportive and i uh, just appreciate it so much because you guys are pretty much helping me pay for my new 4k monitor and that was that's absolutely incredible and, i mean i got a really good deal on it too it's like a 400 hundred dollar monitor and i got it for under 300 dollars. so that was that was a pretty neat deal i wasn't even expecting to buy in it i was just at best buy and saw it and i was like wow that's a really good deal you know and they set me up pretty well so uh that was pretty awesome and i can't wait to get it in so uh, let me know in the comments section below what you think um so far about this uh the drastic section i want to hear you guys thoughts is it looking good uh, we have a lot more effects going in and i do uh, do definitely want to add some you know dinosaurs of course into there i mean it's a jurassic session you gotta have dinosaurs um but that part is still kind of on hold until i can kind of figure out how to make those uh a little bit more possible but anyways that's gonna about do it for this episode and i think we got a lot done and it was pretty awesome so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you comment like and subscribe for more amazing videos like this and make sure to go follow me on twitch if you want to watch some of these videos live because i do live stream these recordings as well so anyways thank you guys so much and make sure you have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow and i'll catch you guys in the next video thanks so much and goodbye